hey y'all welcome to my channel in today's video i will show you how to make this really simple banana nut bread you can use this it's coming up to the holidays you can make it for breakfast for snack whatever you want to do with it it's really simple so i'm starting out with one stick of softened butter there's eight tablespoons of butter just mix that up just a little bit and to that we will add 50 grams of granulated sugar or about one fourth cup and a hundred grams of brown sugar about three fourth cups so in total it will be one cup of sugar you know i always forget to tell y'all in the beginning of the video to preheat your oven but preheat your oven to 350 degrees so just cream that together i have brown sugar flying everywhere if you do y'all already know from my past videos i'm not the neatest um mixer <laughs> i have stuff flying everywhere all the time so just get it up and put it back in the bowl your cabinet your countertop clean so hey just do it it won't hurt nobody but i did have some hard pieces of that brown sugar to um form in there so all i did was just take those little pieces out that's what you see me taking out now just cream your butter and your sugar together until it's well combined and then we will add in our two room temperature eggs so i see you are still watching my video so make sure you hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell so you will not miss any other upload now what i like about this is you can make this ahead of time just like how you can freeze cakes you can also freeze this if you want to make it a couple days in advance before thanksgiving or whatever holiday or whenever you want to use it whatever occasion all you have to do is just make it up and double or triple wrap your cake your banana bread in saran wrap or clean wrap whatever you have and then you can wrap that in foil put it in the freezer until you're ready for it when you are ready to eat it just let it um, come to room temperature in the refrigerator well let it thaw in the refrigerator and then take it out to let it come to room temperature so in the bowl you see i added my flour which is 180 grams my baking soda which is one teaspoon a half a teaspoon of salt and a half a teaspoon of cinnamon now every time i bake with bananas i always use brown sugar and cinnamon i think those flavors just go well with bananas I, I don't remember a time I haven't used brown sugar and cinnamon when I'm using bananas. So I have four ripe bananas. You can see it's a lot of brown spots on it. That's what you want. You don't want the bananas that's almost green. It's really no flavor in it. More sweetness come when the bananas, when the, ban ugh, the bananas, <laughs> are ripe so just get you four medium to large size bananas about one cup of bananas smash it with a fork or mixer however you want to smash it up and add it to your batter and mix that in Be sure not to over mix. Also for the bananas, if you don't want big chunks, you can always smash it or put it in like a, a chopper or something like that to smash it a little more. But I do like a 
little chunks of bananas in mine. Next, add your walnuts. If you don't like walnuts, allergic to walnuts, prefer pecans, you can do whatever you want to. You can mix it, leave it out, however you want to do it. It can just be banana bread. But y'all know I love nuts, walnuts, pecans. I wanted to put pecans in this, but I said I put pecans in everything. So <laughs> I just put the walnuts in this. And typically people put walnuts and banana nut bread anyway, but hey. And once you have folded your walnuts in, add um, a half teaspoon of your vanilla and just mix that in. I prepared my loaf pan. I think this is a nine by five, I think. <laughs> um, I prepared it by spreading butter and flour, flour ring. Oh Lord, I can't talk. <laughs> the pan, I also put a little parchment. Well, this wax paper at the bottom. If you have parchment, that's fine. Just to make it a little easier to lift, I should have did the whole thing like that. Y'all will see my struggle when I'm trying to take it out of the pan. But yeah, my husband is <laughs> ready to leave. But um y'all will see my struggle at the end of this video when I'm trying to take it out of the pan. Don't judge me. I also ended up putting a little of that batter on the back side of the wax wax paper. So it did stick a little bit back there. But it's cool. It'll be okay. Spread your batter out evenly as best as possible. Pop that joker in the oven for about 40 to 45 minutes. Can be 50 minutes depending on your oven. Just stick a toothpick, knife, whatever you have in the, in the center. If it comes out clean, then you know it's done. So once mine finished baking, mine baked for about 45 minutes. And... I let it cool in the pan for about 15 minutes before I try to take it out. Y'all see, I am struggling, okay? Because I did not want it to break. So I try my best to take it out. I thought the pan was still pretty kind of hot, so that's why I'm really being careful. It was only a little warm, so at the toward the end you'll see i'm starting to touch the pan i'm just using my butter knife to try to get under the cake to try to release it from the pan eventually i was able to get it out see i flipped it over and everything it still decided not to come out so i flipped it back over got my butter knife and dragged it around the edges one more time to try to see where it was stuck at and then eventually it did come out Look, I started sampling <laughs> the bread before it completely cooled. Y'all know. Y'all, I'm sure y'all do it too. And I do lick the batter too. I don't care what nobody say. I've been doing this since I was a child. But I didn't for this one. But usually I do. I taste the batter. But I will let this cool on the rack for about 30 minutes to an hour. It just depends on how long it takes. Take off 
that wax paper once it cools and cut it up and see what it tastes like well i already know what it tastes like because i sampled the crumb <laughs> but y'all know it was delicious i will be honest with y'all especially if i'm experimenting i will be honest and let you know whether it was nasty or not but fortunately this is good i do have a banana nut cake it tastes just like a banana nut bread only difference is in cake form so it's much softer and luscious and i paired it with some cream cheese frosting so i will have that in the description box below so you can check out that video but this cake i mean <laughs> this bread is really moist and soft and nutty and banana-y if that's not a word it's a word now but i'm giving y'all a close-up of the banana bread is really good y'all y'all make sure y'all try this recipe out and if you did comment down below to in the comment section to let me know how you like this recipe and i will see y'all in the next video make sure you subscribe by hitting that button